So as you use your computer and you download new files and install new applications, um, it's going to be your responsibility to manage um, the amount of things on your computer because eventually if you don't manage it, you'll run out of space. So the best way to manage your uh, files and applications is by using Finder. Um, and if you open up Finder, um, oftentimes you'll get this sort of like large icon view, but that's not the only way you can use it. There's different options up onto this toolbar. So you can view things by list. You can th view things by like a cascading set of folders. And if we look at the list view, you can see there's a column called size and that sort of helps you determine what are the large files and what are the small files on your computer. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you the size of uh, what's in each folder. Um, so we would actually have to look at an individual folder in order to figure some of those things out. Now, as you manage your files, um, probably the two areas that you're going to have to worry about the most are your downloads folder, where you download new things from the internet, as well as the applications that you installed. So quickly, if we look at the downloads folder, um, you can see there's a bunch of files, and I would rather figure out, basically here, this consider this to be a temporary space, and you should be able to delete stuff out of here or move it into a more appropriate folder after you've downloaded it. Um, so if I look at the list view here, um, I can see all of these different files that I've downloaded that I probably don't need um, once I've used it one time. If I click on the size column, it'll organize it by size, and you can see I've downloaded a bunch of movies, um, and if I don't need them anymore, it would be really wise to delete them, especially considering um, the various sizes. Now, how big is 1.49 gigabytes compared to my entire computer? It's a little hard to say um, how much space that's going to save me. So I want sort of a, a bigger picture overview of uh, what's on my computer. If you click on uh, your device itself, so in my case it's called Peter's MacBook Pro, you can see that I have 223 gigabytes on this hard drive, but I don't know my available space. You can always right click a file and say get info to get a little bit more information about any particular file. Um, and in this case, I'm looking at the hard drive itself and it says my capacity is about 250 gigabytes and I have about 26 gigabytes free. Another way to see that information is to go into the Apple icon and say about this Mac. Um, and this gives you a lot of different information. The one we're interested in right now is called storage. And it sort of gives you this high level overview of what type of things are taking up room on my computer. And as you can see, this green right here represents movies and you saw I had um, some movies in my download folder that I should be able to erase. And each gigabyte that I save is going to yield me a fairly significant chunk. Probably don't have to worry about my photos. I have this yellow section called other, so that's going to be a little bit harder to manage because I have to figure out what exactly is taking up the space here. But I know for sure that if I delete some movies, I'd be able to free up some space on my computer. Another thing you can do is manage your applications. And so if you click on your applications folder, you should be able to see all of the applications taking up room on your computer. Um, and again, if I click onto the list view and click on size, I can see the applications that are taking up the most space. Now, you could delete an application just by right-clicking here and moving it to trash, uh, the same as any file. Um, the other way to delete an application would be to open up your launch pad by hitting up F4. And here you can delete any application, but so long as that you installed it through the App Store. So much like an iPad or an iPhone, if you click on an icon and hold on to it, do a long press, you see all the icons shaking. You can also see X's for programs that you can uninstall. Um, if you installed an application through the App Store, this would be the recommended way to, to uninstall it. You'll note that a lot of these icons do not have an X, and that means that um, either it's built into the operating system, so you can't delete iBooks or iTunes, um, or you did not install it through the App Store. And if you didn't install it through the App Store, then you can't delete it this way. You would literally have to, if I escape that, go into your Applications folder, and again, right-click, Move to Trash. And for those of you who do not know, Moving to Trash does not actually delete the uh, file. It just moves it into this trash folder so that you can either make your decision to move it back or right-click and say Empty Trash. And only when you say Empty Trash will it actually free up space on your hard drive. Um, so these are all important things to understand. Again, if you're not managing your files, you will eventually hit the point where you run out of space. And it could happen at a very inopportune time like when you're in the middle of presenting something or you're in the middle of running a program and everything crashes because you run out of space. Um, so hopefully out your operating system will tell you these things, but so long as you're managing it ahead of time, um, you can keep your system running smoothly.